Hi guys and welcome to my year two garden recap video. This year I recorded little updates throughout the season so we'll take a look at those and at the end we'll see just what we were able to harvest. Hi guys, nice sunny day here and I'm thinking it's time to start the garden. It's about mid-May and winter's really holding on and we had snow just a few days ago but it's time to start tilling you can see i did one row there i'm about to start the second row and uh, i'm not sure how well you guys can hear me i'm testing out a new microphone because the last time i was outside it was too windy and that's all we had was wind noise but hopefully this is working all right so i'm going to set up the tripod and i'm going to start tilling that center center plot and uh, get this garden started First I had to till the soil to loosen things up. Next I added a load of compost to the garden and tilled it nicely. I'm hoping that in a few years I'll have some pretty rich soil. Next I dug up a row and a half and planted some potatoes. Okay it's now the second weekend in June and uh, in between working on the trailer here and uh, avoiding the thunderstorms we've been having lately. Uh, I finally caught up on the garden. I've tilled the last two plots uh, yesterday and today. I finished this one today. I planted some tomatoes um, and if we look further down here I'm just going to zoom. Um, right here we've got strawberries. One strawberry plant that we got from my buddy Pierre. We've got some rhubarb there I got from my neighbor Guy. Um, down here we have watermelon planted and pumpkin planted as well as sunflowers like I did last year. Zoom back out here. So in the center plot here I have potatoes and onions and I just noticed I planted these uh, probably two weeks ago and I just noticed a little onion poking through. So that little guy's starting. Excited to see how those turn out this year. I've done onions in the past, but uh, they never got very big. But hopefully with this soil, I've got lots of compost in here and mulch. Um, so there should be lots for it to eat. Now I'm gonna head in, have breakfast, and uh, try to get the rest of this stuff planted because I'm pretty far behind in my opinion. I know it is only the first weekend in June, but I'd like to have this stuff in the ground. I think we're past frost, hopefully. So uh, I better get to that. Okay, so everything's planted. Now we just need some rain, some sunshine, and we'll wait for stuff to grow. Well, it's been a few weeks since I planted everything, so let's go have a look at what's going on. So here, I can't really remember what I planted, but I'm thinking there's nothing but weeds here so far. I believe this was corn mostly with some turnip and broccoli and I planted some beans just earlier this week and again beans here yellow and green on different rows the tomatoes had a hard time um, when I tra transferred them we had some frost just after so they were basically dead um, this one was down to just a stick but it seems to be coming back that third one's looking pretty good. Tomatoes, or potatoes here, are doing pretty good. Tons of weeds in there. I'm gonna have to get in and tear those out. More weeds, more weeds. And we've got onions in the back fighting with the weeds. I can see a few there. One right here, one right here and there. I picked a little bit of the weeds out on this end the other day. 
but I'm way too tired for that tonight. Now here, if I can remember correctly, this is mostly carrots with lettuce. So this would be lettuce here, and it doesn't look like there's any growing yet. Just more weeds, lots of weeds. Just gonna take a peek if there's any carrots yet. Doesn't look like it. Just lots of weeds. Boys, lots of pull out. And down here is cucumber and nothing poking through yet. So it's not looking good. Oh, I see one sprouty there and another one. So there's a couple, but not many. Oh, another one here. So they might just need a little more time or maybe my seeds were too old. I have a habit of keeping seeds for several years and uh, they may go bad. So we're gonna take a walk down here. The trees are all looking good. The peach tree I planted the other day. Um, starting to have some leaves. Oh, it looks like we have some ants growing there. That's not good. So not the ideal spot for that, I guess. And down here is the pumpkin or watermelon. I really can't remember which I planted where and they both look the same starting out so I'll have to see what happens when they sprout. I had sunflowers all along the back there and I came down one evening to water them and they were all gone so I'm guessing it was our friend's deer that came by and ate all those but whatever this pumpkin or watermelon is it's starting it's coming along. This side here is doing a little bit better and the uh, sunflowers are still there luckily. Not all of the uh, plants are sprouting, so it could be a mixture of good and bad seeds. I did have some new ones and some old ones. The uh, rhubarb is doing quite well. I was worried that I transferred it at the wrong time and it would catch, but it seems like it's doing quite well. We'll see if it sprouts next year too. And the one strawberry plant I have uh, is blooming, so I expect at least two or three strawberries maybe this year. I'm hoping this spreads and multiplies, but I'm not really not sure how uh, strawberry plants work. All right, so that's a uh, tour for today. I'm gonna set up the sprinkler, turn it on. We're in the middle of a heat wave, so I'm giving them a little extra water every second day. Hopefully they'll survive it. So here we are mid-July and my tomatoes seem to be doing pretty good. Potatoes are doing well except for one that I planted here that none of the, that type caught. The last row is not doing well. There's basically just weeds with a little bit of beans at the end there. This row here, I have beans there too. This third row was mostly weeds as well with the exception of some cucumber plants which are starting down there not as many as i'd like but there should be enough if they can really catch but they weren't doing too well so i decided to get rid of all these weeds and rather than pull them out i'm just going to start tilling them and i'm going to replant carrots and hopefully maybe i'll have small carrots by fall but we'll see it's probably a little too late but i'm going to try my best and then there's this weird plant here that i'm not sure what it is, it's probably a weed, but it looks different than the rest, so I'm gonna leave it for now. But uh, I'm gonna get back to tilling here so far. Not overly happy with the garden. At the far end there, you can see the rhubarb is doing well. I actually picked a little bit and made a strawberry rhubarb danish. I've got about uh, three strawberries down there on the little strawberry bush. So I'm just waiting for those to ripen up and uh, the watermelon and pumpkins are doing quite well, looking quite strong. I can't remember which is which, um, but whatever pops up is what we're gonna get. And uh, the sunflowers there seem to be doing pretty good, despite the uh, ones that got eaten from this end. And all three fruit trees seem to be good but I don't expect any fruit this year because this guy here was replanted very late, so I don't think it's gonna blossom. And it's probably too early for the first year for the peaches, but 
we'll see what happens. Well, I just finished mowing the lawn down here and I came to look at how the garden's doing. And I'm quite happy with how the watermelon or pumpkin, like I said, I've mixed these up. I don't know which is which anymore, but one of them is growing quite well down there and starting to spread. The sunflowers are doing well, the rhubarb's doing well. The strawberries here were doing well. I had one nice red juicy one that I was ready to pick today and I came down and it looks like something ate them all. So. Those are long gone until next year, so so much for that. Um, today I was out shopping and I saw these seedless grapes on clearance. So $12 each, it's not too bad. So 24 bucks for two plants. Uh, I got the tiller out. I'm going to make a little plot for that too. So I'm sort of lining everything up along the edge of the property here. Um, I think this is uh, far enough from the house that it doesn't feel like a a huge garden but uh, I kind of like this setup so I'm going to uh, till that up now. All right just took a trip out here to water the garden and I figure I'll take a little look around. Here are the grapes I planted the other day and our strawberries. This is uh, growing in nicely. The rhubarb still doing good but not sure what happened here. Got a bunch of yellow leaves and torn leaves. I'm not sure if that's an animal, insect. I'm not really not sure. The sunflowers are growing in quite nice. That big guy there is closing in on five feet tall. And our watermelon or pumpkins. Again, I'm still not sure which is which. They're starting to move over here. This side here that's getting a little bit less water is really stretching out there. This guy's probably about 10 feet long. And that one's going another five feet towards the woods. Coming along pretty good. And our cucumber, still small plants, but they're starting to grow. You can see a couple of little flowers on it. Not too big, but I'm still uh, hoping to get something from them. I can see down here just a few little carrots peeking through. So those are starting. They'll be quite small this year, but it's better than nothing. It wasn't looking good for the carrots. And now here's our lettuce starting off. So again, late, but they're late than never. And the onions and potatoes, nothing really changed here. And our tomatoes, nothing on these plants. Couple little guys there coming in. That little plant has quite a few tomatoes on it. I'm surprised. And this little guy too. It's a couple little ones. This big guy is full. Lots of them in there. And those are, you can see, probably about inch and a half in diameter already. So those are going to be massive. This guy here isn't looking too good, but some some little ones here. And this one I think is like grape tomatoes. So that'll be interesting as those grow in. Another little guy here. Not too much on it. Beans aren't doing much. These are must be the low bush beans because they're not growing up very tall. And still no beans growing on them. Not overly impressed with those. Potatoes, we're gonna have plenty of those in the fall. And here, still nothing. This is where I planted the corn. Not a single thing. Hmm, it's really interesting. I'm really gonna have to look at what my soil is missing for corn because that's twice I planted it and I'm not even seeing like seeds germinating or anything. So I really don't know what's going on there. Well, I've been neglecting the garden a little bit lately because I've been focusing so much on the camper. You can see now that my biggest um, sunflowers opened up there. And if we look closely, we can see some red in those tomatoes. So the little grape tomatoes are ready to be picked. So I'm gonna go grab some of those now. Lettuce is coming along nicely. And carrots, finally. Jeez, that had a rough start. Yeah, cucumber, still not doing so good. Yeah. Oh, look at these tomatoes. That looks great. 
Actually, there's a lot here. I should pick quite a few of them. Corn finally starting to come out. Much too late. Lots of beans here. I picked some of those the other day. Let's go have a look at the pumpkins, watermelon, see what's going on here. Look at that big sunflower there. Still turned the wrong way. He's going to have to turn around this morning. Okay, so I'm about five foot nine, and this is what I see. So this guy here is easily seven feet tall. Easily. It's a real nice flower. It's the biggest one I've grown yet. Oh, and here we see something. Could that be a pumpkin? It's kind of weird shaped. Now I was given a squash plant, but I don't remember planting it there. I think that's just a weird shaped pumpkin. And there's a couple more over there. Unless they got cross pollinated with something. Maybe not sure. It's too two of them there. Not sure what those are. Let's go look in this batch here. Oh, another pumpkin looking thing. And here, got a little one starting. Another one there. Another one here. That's definitely a pumpkin. Another one here. So a couple of them growing in, finally. I don't find this garden's doing very well. I'm not happy with all the weeds I had this year. But what can you do? Next year, hopefully I'll be a little more focused on it. So I'm gonna go pick up some of those tomatoes right now. Well, another week's gone by and we have these little corn sprouts. Much too late. I don't know what's going on with these potatoes, but the middle ones are all, uh, all the plants are dead. I'm going to start digging those out uh, this week for supper. Lettuce is still coming along pretty good. It's a little tight in there, but I'm going to leave it. Some of these I might start picking. Carrots. And I noticed this today. Finally, some cucumbers. This one down there. Uh, here, another little one here. So it's a start. Little guy here too. Really not impressed after the big haul we had last year, but it's something. A couple little guys there. That guy looks a little dry, so I'm gonna water these right now. I think there's one over here too. Yep, that's a nice looking one. It's a little small, but it's better than nothing. Pumpkins are starting to turn orange. I'm not sure if that's lack of water or heat. I also noticed the leaves on the trees are, are quite dry. So this guy here turning orange. Which is surprising considering the size. That one too. Oh, and I have this thing that I've noticed back here. That I have no idea what it is. So with this, which looks like a pickle or it's not a pickle but a, a cucumber but I did not plant any cucumbers down here so unless that's a seed that's straight over here I thought this was like a squash or zucchini plant which I was given and I couldn't remember which is which and I planted one at this end and one at the far end by those sunflowers so it could be that maybe it's a zucchini I don't know what those look like when they're small but they're speckled or spiny like a, a cucumber but uh, yeah it's uh, not the best garden I've had this uh, sunflower though is uh, a beast so we've got this little guy here he's about um, four feet or so most of these are about four feet these are about five and a half so this guy would be about five feet there and then we have this guy, look at that. So these here, this one is taller than me. So I'm 5'9", so this one's close to six feet here. And then we have this beast, look at that. Let's see if I can even reach the top anymore. So that's about eight feet that I can reach. So uh, it's close to eight feet, it's 
crazy. I can't believe how tall that is. Yep, I'm quite impressed with that. My rhubarb is a disaster. I really don't know if this is normal, if it just dies off, but I thought it did well in the fall. So I'm not sure what happened here. The strawberry plant that my friend Pierre gave me is doing really well. Those whole five strawberries that grew that I missed out on that something ate. Look at that thing spreading. That's, that's pretty good. I can't wait to see what that's gonna do next year. And then the grapes here climbing nicely. I think I'm going to need to build a bigger uh, lattice for it to climb. But I'm going to give everything a quick water and uh, see what happens next week. I mean, the, we're already the end of August, so the growing season is coming to a close, but we'll run over as long as possible. Well, it's now the first week of September, and I'm out in the garden picking some stuff up. I've got a few cucumbers here in my bag. Didn't get a whole lot this year, but I picked everything I had. I'm just out with Mocha for a little walk in the garden. I see he's eating a pumpkin plant there. We've got a couple of little pumpkins here, turning orange. But the uh, garden's not looking too good now. Our sunflowers are doing well though. Let's take a walk down there. I had one that was almost eight feet tall. It's now sagging over a little bit there. Kind of interesting that they are different types. These are brown in the center and there's one that's like yellow. What I thought was odd is the sun rises over there, runs through here through the day, and sets over there, but they're all turned this way. I thought they were supposed to follow the sun, so I'm not sure what's going on there. See, even this one that hasn't opened yet, it's facing the wrong way. This guy was the one that was eight feet tall, and it's pointing the wrong way, so I'm not sure what the deal is with that. My rhubarb really is not doing well. I'm worried that that may not come back next year. I got that from the neighbor over on the other side of those trees and I had a peak and his is doing really well so I'm not sure what happened with mine but we'll see what happens next year if it grows again. Now the first week of October and I've dug up probably about a third of my potatoes and they look real nice. I've given up on the lettuce here. It still looks like it's growing, but um, it's been under frost a few times, so I'm gonna leave that. And hidden in the weeds here are the carrots. So I'm going to start pulling some of those out today to make some chicken soup. So I'm gonna grab those now. We'll see how many we can get and what they look like. Well, it's now the third week of October and everything is pretty much done for the year. It's all either picked or dead, except for maybe those strawberries there. That still seems to be growing pretty good. So my friend Marcel stopped by today and brought me some raspberries. These look real nice. So I put those in the ground today. Got a couple of stakes to put up there to hold them up. But that's just about it for this garden. I think I have to go through and grab some more weeds that are in that garden. Terrible how many weeds there are and uh, even as I pull them out I can just see the seeds dropping everywhere so I think that's gonna be a problem for years to come I just have to be more on top of picking them I've also got a couple of bags of lime that I'm gonna throw in there the soil is still not where I'd like it my compost bin is full so I've got to wait for that to compost so I'll have that for next year so let me know in the comments how you guys made out this year I saw Plenty of my friends on Facebook had either their first or second garden this year because of the pandemic. They were able to spend time and, and grow their own food and a lot of them did really well, much better than I did. You can see in the pictures I posted just how everything turned out here. But uh, nonetheless, uh, considering how bad a start I had, I'm still quite happy with how this year went. Um, Let's hope next year is going to be even better. 
like I said, post below your comments what you thought of this year's garden. If you have any suggestions for me, how your garden did. Um, anything at all, I'd like to hear from you guys. So I'm going to wrap up this video here. That's it for 2020. Gardening is done and I'll see you guys next year. So here are photos of the five little strawberries that grew and my friends the deer ate before I could pick them. And a shot of just how tall that sunflower was. And now photos of everything that we harvested this year. If you've made it this far and enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate you give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of the videos I put out, hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.